Pomoni project uh, is a quite interesting project. Uh, the regulation in the pharma industry is getting uh, more strict. And uh, of course, one of the things that we have to bear in mind is that the pharma industry is producing two things. The first one is the drugs, right? The drugs itself. But the other one is data. Many of us were not aware that batch numbers are assigned on a manufacturer basis for medicaments. And sometimes there are issues in traceability, not, certainly not in Europe, but in other countries, sometimes we don't know where the medicines were produced, whether the batch numbers can be traced down to a certain manufacturer, and moreover, that the quality and control of the medicaments within a certain batch, a certain set of them, can be maintained throughout a, a process. So the idea of Spumon is to provide a traceable ways for the pharmaceutical industry to show the provenance of medicaments across the manufacturing line and potentially to the pharmacy. So from the moment all the different components, including active components, are mixed, put it into sugar coating tablets, all the way to packaging and potentially, or eventually, I would say, to pharmacies and to the final consumer. What we do in this uh, Spumon project, we provide the, uh, the intelligence part as far as it concerns uh, manipulation of data. What uh, we are focusing on is to develop a distributed intelligent agent system which will be at the core of Spumoni uh, system, uh, the Spumoni platform, which will be based on cognitive agent nodes. Therefore, data will become intelligent. And therefore, we are going to introduce a reference architecture based on intelligent agent technology. This is our area of expertise, distributed artificial intelligence, in order to produce the first Spumoni demo. So you can see at a glance if there are part of the process that have been or not in, in compliance. Exactly. PQE is coordinating the project, uh, that's the first point. And uh, obviously coordinating the project means uh, put everyone together to work which is not an easy thing, because uh, we're talking about uh, five partners, two of them in Italy, the, the rest uh, in uh, Ireland, Spain and Greece. So just for the geographic uh, location is not that easy. Uh, having said that, that uh, consortium is a very collaborative uh, one. Uh, and uh, the second role that we have is that we are leading uh, the work package in terms of data governance. So we are defining the rules that this data has to follow in order to be compliant with the different regulations. For me, this project will, will be a breakthrough. Uh, for the pharmaceutical uh, industry in terms of how to use information and, techno and communication technology. All the software that we are, we are generating uh, are really in the top of the, of the state of the art and, and the pharmaceutical companies can really uh, use them. So why not? Uh, we have, the, we have the opportunity and we have the challenge to do that. Uh, the project looks really very promising. It was derived from a bright idea from uh, PQE uh, CEO, uh, Gidani Certi, who uh, observed the fact that technology could really sustain the data integrity to really improve the quality of our processes. You have in your hands again the opportunity of doing one of the few interesting applications of this artificial intelligence, which will be the future for sure in the industry. The problem is that most of the know-how of the artificial intelligence stays with the academia, with the university, 
why the data are in the industry. So pharma companies are producing pharma plus data, but many times uh, they don't want to share this data for scientific purpose. So thank you to, to Fareva and Fareva Management for this decision, which I think uh, is extremely important for the following reason, that uh, what you are trying to develop uh, is really top of the interest in the industry.